Begin by logging into your DNS server using superuser as root. Launch the terminal, and if you don't log in as superuser, then you must use the sudo command. If you are using your superuser account, you'll be asked for your password. Type the password, and you'll be on the root. Next, check your bind version. This is mandatory to determine which entry is applicable for your bind version. To check the bind version type, enter the command shown here. Now locate your DNS zone file. This file by default is located under forward slash var forward slash name forward slash. However, sometimes it is hidden for security reasons. Please consult with your network administrator. In this example, the DNS zone file is under forward slash var forward slash named forward slash with the file name called entrustlab.com.zone. Now that you have located the DNS zone file, you may edit its contents. But before doing so, create a backup just in case. Now, back in the terminal, enter the related variation of the command shown here in order to open your DNS zone file in a nano editor. The DNS zone file will open so that you may edit its contents. Locate the line indicated on the screen here and hit enter at the end of that line to create a space below for a new record entry. I may now modify my DNS zone file by adding the related certification authority authorization record entry. Press Ctrl X to save the modification, answer yes and then hit enter to overwrite the modified file. Now restart your DNS service by typing the command shown here. To check the detail status of the DNS service, now type the command shown here. If you'd like to check if the CAA record has been updated correctly and can be queried, you can run the command shown here. And that's it.